hey guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching our last video and uh, the one we did concerning skincare was four best or top five body lotions that i've tried that i recommend for you guys today by the title it says that top three sunscreens that do not leave a white cast that means melanin if you are caramel if you are fair like me or you're nigerian or you're african or you just even have a tone that is not white skinned then this sunscreen is best for you even if your skin is white your your uh, this sunscreen is also really really good for you so let's say a massive thank you i want to say massive thank you to our sponsors for today at double o colors on instagram thank you for giving us this selfie stick and thank you for the lighting system that you've provided for us for this video can't you see that i am glowing from different angle because the light is just doing me wonders my left my right everywhere is just fully um illuminated that's what she does so make sure you give her a check on instagram i'm going to drop a link down below so today let's just take the sunscreens one by one and i'm also going to talk about the major objections that people have and why they don't use sunscreen honestly i have never been able to comprehend it but i guess i know how it feels because i never used to be this knowledgeable before and knowledge breaks the yoke of ignorance <laughs> the power that ignorance has over you knowledge has a way of breaking it why don't people use sunscreen every day i posted a poll on my stories on instagram and this is the best time for you to follow me on instagram right here yeah if you haven't followed me make sure you follow me on instagram and um my audience told me that they don't use sunscreen every day and i was like why not somebody actually sent me a dm and she was like the reason why i don't use sunscreen is because it's too oily it makes my skin feel too oily or it gives me a burning sensation me a white cast and that's why today i want to target these three objections and then give you top three sunscreens that you can get that will not give you any of those reactions number one when i tried the famous neutrogena they are known for their drugstore sunscreen option my skin will often have this burning sensation that i couldn't really really explain and that was the first time i was trying sunscreen and it came highly recommended do you guess by a lot of professionals i checked reviews on instagram i checked reviews on google on youtube and people said that neutrogena spf ultra shift spf 50 was really really good i find a way to insert the picture here and the burning sensation and i couldn't just explain it but as the day would continue the burning sensation will cease and then i will ultimately have that sun protection but can we have a sunscreen that does not give us a burning sensation yes we can and can we have a sunscreen that does not make our face look oily like we have like a ton of skincare products in our face yes we can and can we also have a sunscreen that is so lightweight that when you reapply it during the day onto your face your hands your ears all those areas you would not feel like you have a weight on yes we can and that's the purpose of this video so in case you haven't subscribed this is the best time for you to click that subscribe button turn on the post notification give this video a like download or share this video with your friends so that we can all glow together now the top three sunscreens that i have for you guys today number one is the cosrex um sun aloe hydrating cream it has a long name and this is a picture of what it looks like i have tried this sunscreen i absolutely love it and it offers both uva and uvb protection and it also has a pa plus plus rating plus plus this is the tea asian sunscreens have been known to cater for um dark melanated skin types way more than sunscreens that are maybe from america or the uk i don't know why but i have found out that that's it the sunscreens i've tried from brands in asia korea all those areas are the ones that have really really worked for my skin that i was in before imagine me battling with hyperpigmentation constant pimples all of all those things and then the pimples eventually when you use all the other normal acne products they will fade then you are left with the dark acne max how do you fade acne max when you use lightning products and you don't have a sun protection that acts as a barrier to actually get those lightning products on the spots to work 
that's why you need to use sunscreen because you can't be using lightning products and not use sunscreen and expect to see results i'm going to give you guys a fact when i started using sunscreen consistently for a period of three months not only did my spots fade my complexion even brightened up because the lightning and the brightening products that i was using on my face started to work and that's why you need to use sunscreen so the first one is the cosrex sun aloe hydrating cream from i don't know if it's japan or korea now but it's either of those two countries and it offers uva and uvp protection it is hydrating it is lightweight doesn't leave a greasy a tacky feeling on the skin it is incredibly lightweight in texture and your face would be protected the rating is spf 50 meaning that it offers a totally long lasting protection so to speak but of course if you stay in the sun for a prolonged period of time you need to reapply it and that's why the lightweight texture of this sunscreen comes to play because it is key for you to reapply your sunscreen if you are going to be in the sun for long now when we talk about sunscreen the second one that i have for you is the sun cut cozy comfort sunscreen this is their uv perfect gel super proof with pa plus 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 and spf plus we are still going to get into the other details of what all these ratings and stuff mean for sunscreen but this is the sunscreen i've been using for a period of two weeks now and i incredibly love it because it is gel like it's even lighter weight in texture than the cosrex and that's why i even prefer this one more than the cosrex but this is also good the third sunscreen that i have for you guys today is the aqua sunscreen i'm going to insert a picture here too this is also asian and it does not it, none of these sunscreens leave white cast so it's going to be easy for you to just continue to reapply during the day and it's also going to be easy for you to apply on your hands behind your ears your neck and your chest so that your complexion can be even and this is really really important so those are the top three sunscreens that i've tried you can buy any of these three from any standard store in fact for top authenticity and to keep the originality of the product so you don't waste your money get or uh, try to buy it online Try to buy it online, order it online from a reputable store so that they can have it delivered to your house. Talk about the ratings and the things to consider when you are choosing sunscreen because it is possible that none of these ones that I've mentioned to you are available wherever you are watching me because yes, we have subscribers from Germany, from Ghana, from different areas watching me right now and I'm so incredibly excited to be able to give you guys so much knowledge. So let's talk about the top things that you need to consider when you are choosing a sunscreen. Number one, you need to make sure that it has has a universal and total protection that it covers uva that's ultraviolet burning rays and ultraviolet aging rays it needs to be able to do those two things for you it is very or you read the review of the product online and you don't see that it covers both uva and uvb rays please save your coins and get another type of sunscreen One, secondly spf just means that the suns the, that's the sunscreen's ability to shield your skin from the sun's ultraviolet rays and that means sun protection factor so spf 15 blocks about 94 percent of sun rays spf 30 blocks 97 percent and spf 45 blocks about 40 sorry 98 percent oh, yes of course i have my notes down here and that's what i'm looking at because i want to give you guys original legit information and i'm also going to put down the link to the article that i got that i was able to uh, get information to film this video from down below so make sure you also read that up and check it out now let's talk about this pa plus plus sign that people don't understand PA means the protection grade of ultraviolet rays. It is a Japanese measurement which is now widely used. It is based on the persistent pigment darkening. That is how your skin will darken under the effect of sun exposure. And that's what the PP, PA++ stands for. So the higher the plus, the higher the grade of the sunscreen to shield your skin from both uva and uvb rays now those are the things that you need to consider if you stay in nigeria like me don't even bother to buy spf 30 spf 15 because uh that's not what we want the sun in the tropical parts and in africa is intense so you need at least spf 50 and uh, 
you should be okay with SPF 50. And of course, don't forget to reapply if you're going to be in the sun for longer than two hours or three hours. In my own opinion, that's what works for me. And that's how I've been able to keep this intense glow you know what i'm saying do you understand so make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you learned one or two things drop your questions down below if you still don't understand some of the things that i mentioned that i tried to clarify in this video this is very very important your sunscreen is the most in fact in your daily routine it is the most important part of your skincare routine if you ask me some people say it's the cleansing and it's the serum I think is sun protection especially because we stay in Nigeria and the exposure that we have from the Sun is a lot so you want to have your protection guard up there so make sure you give this video again a thumbs up subscribe because this is what we do on this channel we talk about skin lifestyle and beauty and stuff thank you so much for massively supporting my channel we just hit 200 subscribers and that is such a huge deal let's get to 500 subscribers let's keep growing let's keep growing so i'm just going to keep stop talking for now thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon bye